Hi, this is Paul from TraderFifth.com and this is my daily stock signals video. Today I'm going to be looking at something from our swing trading membership. So every day uh, during the European morning I make my swing trading analysis and alert video to set up new trades, manage existing swing trades. As you can see in the membership area here you can go back to any day, watch the video and download the spreadsheet every day for those potential uh, swing trades, those fifth wave trades. So this is swing trading again. It's for, it's really good for those part time traders that can't trade full time. I usually swing off the the four hourly or the daily time frame. So you've got lots of time to make those decisions. Great core trading strategy to go alongside your day trading for those full time traders as well. So I'm just going to go a uh, look at one of those uh, particular setups that I'm looking at uh, that is out on today's um, spreadsheet. So I'm looking at FLR on the daily time frame. OK, so again, this is our Elliott Wave indicator suite for the Think or Swim trading platform. It's also available for Ninja Trader, TradeStation and Multicharts. So I combine this with our uh, black box breakout indicator because we have the multiple time frame dot cloud there. As you can see on the multiple time frame dot cloud now all the way down to the monthly time frame, which is this key time frame down here, we're all red. OK, so overall bearish trend we can see there. We've got a wave for pullback against that. Now, we do measure this wave for pullback in a few ways. So the first thing is the wave force pullback against that main bearish trend and has found resistance in our green zone. So this is our probability zones here, the green, amber and the red. Green represents an 85% probability it's going to go on and make that new wave five low. The next, we look at the performance of that wave four pullback. Now, at the moment, you can see the wave four pullback on the oscillator here on the top sub chart has crowned and started to come back down within 90 to 140%. This is great behavior. The next is our stochastic. So we've got the stochastic red arrow form yesterday. Uh, we're down now. We've crossed over in the overbought zone and we've crossed back down. You can see the pullback during the wave four. When we're all red, we go to cyan, to green, back to cyan again. And in theory now, when we come through this $36 mark, we should be all red again. And we'll see that 535 oscillator crown even more and come back towards zero. So let's look at the setup for this. This is quite a slow stock. Uh, but it's good. It's good for swing trading. We're looking for that short. We're going. We want to make sure we're through thirty-six dollars. So thirty-five ninety-five is the entry. Could well trigger today. That gives us. That's we're below the cloud. Our EMA cloud. We're below the six-four moving average low. Uh, and we've got a great risk reward there. Stop loss thirty-eight seventy, just above the wave four, and a risk reward of one to three down to our automated target zone here for the fifth wave around about twenty seven dollars I mean it's even the risk reward to the recent low is over one to two there to that previous wave three so great risk reward swing trading off the daily time frame could take anything to 20 to 30 days to reach target there so you've got to be prepared to hold that at least over the next 20 days if it does trigger today okay so that's a quick glimpse of the type of sort type of trades that I put through in our stock swing trading membership. There is a link in this post just above the video so you can find out more about the swing trading membership. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.